An automated market maker, or AMM, is one of the most popular DeFi applications today. And AMM is a decentralized asset trading pool that enables market participants to buy or sell cryptocurrencies, specifically ETH and ERC20 tokens on Ethereum. AMMs are non-custodial, meaning you never give up control of your funds, like on a SEX, on a KEX, or whatever a centralized exchange is called these days, thank you Mr. Light, and they're permissionless in nature, meaning all you need is an Ethereum wallet to trade or provide liquidity to earn fees while others trade with your tokens. The golden child of DeFi, Uniswap, has boasted over $3 billion in total value locked and eclipsed popular centralized exchanges in trading volume like Coinbase and Kraken for the first time ever in 2020. So what's so special about Uniswap and AMMs like it? Well, we'll cover all that and how AMMs ushered in DeFi trading activity that's continued to grow at a remarkable pace the last few years. Uniswap pioneered the concept of an automated market maker, or commonly called AMM, and they launched it in October 2018. The AMM in DeFi flipped the idea of a decentralized exchange on its head in three ways. Firstly, an AMM makes it easy and user-friendly for anyone to provide liquidity for new ERC-20 tokens paired with ETH. The days of waiting for a centralized exchange to list your token are gone. And as soon as teams launch a token, they can deposit that into a new pool in Uniswap and traders can instantly begin buying and selling the token. And this is what we're referring to when we say Uniswap and AMMs are special due to being completely permissionless. Secondly, Uniswap presented a shift from the centralized model of collecting 100% of trading fees to a community-owned DEX where those providing liquidity earn all the fees. And if they're ever a co-op bookstore of crypto trading, Uniswap is it. They empower their users with the ability to provide liquidity for any token and start trading those tokens instantly. And those who provide liquidity earn a portion of fees paid by those trading. In Uniswap, it's been a simple, flat 0.3% fee, and so if I hold 1% of the liquidity in a pool like ETH DAI, then I earn 1% of all fees paid by traders. Historically, the most volatile days in crypto, especially market crashes, have only benefited centralized exchanges collecting record revenue on record trading volume. With Uniswap, suddenly the Uniswap community that powers all liquidity provisions can earn record fees on record trading volume days like these. And this is part of the reason behind the cult-like following of Uniswap. Finally, Uniswap and AMMs like it represent yet another way DeFi has provided a parallel to legacy finance where you can maintain 100% control of your funds. And when you trade on a centralized exchange, there's always risk to depositing because you have to trust that exchange not to lose your funds. But with AMMs like Uniswap, you trust no one but the code. And in the case of Uniswap, it's a very well battle-tested code with billions of trade volume over the last few years, plus countless audits. There is, of course, still a risk to using Uniswap, but you notably escape the need for KYC or any sort of sign-up. It's a cypherpunk dream realized in the form of code that can outlive the team who created it. Pretty profound. If you've been watching DeFi 101, do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.